yep like this and oops this expects two variables a date oh wait it doesn't does it no it doesn't at most two parameters is given for yeah um that's a mistake made a long time ago um, why is this wrong here which doesn't belong there all right okay so let's try again Ooh. now this is something repeated uh, 35 undefined verb I think I did the same mistake right I must have done the same mistake no wait content is undefined well that's a uh, that's idiotic because I don't receive content here so let's see who uses this where do we have content at the end so put it here refresh the page and yeah we are left with one issue uncaught argument five passed so entry line 29 10, uh, 29 one two three let's see again references where we are using this this is but yeah we can just you know this content comma here but wait we yeah never mind again the same issue here 60 undefined 60 same mistakes everywhere don't need this uh, just in case there are multiple of these I can just put this arrow here and the dollar sign and then replace it with just that and no results so this should be the last one hopefully okay execute invalid parameter number line number 75 uh, yeah, I guess this was a work in progress which I left out. Mm. Oh wait, was it? Uh, which are we? Kiri, yo, author. This wasn't a work in progress. I just messed something up, and now we should finally see an entry, but we don't see any entry. But now it's something different, so what could it be there is a way to find if there is an exception here somewhere um, what could it be so in case there is an error in here then I can set attribute I don't know somewhere whatever here for the error to display and then I can do two things since I execute two things here I can do multiple times in here so uh, each time after the execute and I should create an error here private error all right so now I'm gonna enable printing errors Okay, so column integrity constraint violation line 68 entry author first I'm gonna check here entry author and then I'm going to line 68 so what I would do is probably print out the post mm, yeah this was stupid here to see if it's set so entry author is set um, is it typed the same way yeah okay so here we have author when we create a new one 
one, two. Oh, wait, we are trying to pass something to create new, but it doesn't take anything and create new. So this is the problem. We do not use, oh, we do not use this. I think I did, I just, I just added this right here. So no, we don't do this. In case I did it right now, we ask for it in here. And now I think we should finally see an entry. There we go. We have an entry with our entry date. We have the author test test set. It's hard to tell if it's working 100% correct. So let's do title author x and con. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There we go. Author. See, there is an issue because we set the excerpt as title and title as excerpt. This is what I was looking for. And it helps checking like that. So somewhere things. Yeah, there we go. And now again, and everything is fine. Good, good, good. This works. And now I can disable the printing errors. And I can disable the printing post. So I'll create one more. And what I could potentially do is create a link to the latest um, file. So somewhere here, like, mm, no, apparently, oh yeah, let's do it like this. So. So we have this, we can create an A HREA, or well, let's do this, um, to post, post is a post single, did I call it single? I don't know, Let, let's see, single, single PHP, mm, yeah, it's it seems to be single. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Please consider checking out and following my social media accounts. I have linked them in the description of the video. So, single.php and I don't know, entry ID equals to, um, not like this, but HP echo out entry oh not like this but entry get ID this is the link and here we say view I don't know view entry And this should already be working, so gonna, oops, here. View entry, and there we go, and it says our entry here. But this doesn't pick it up yet, so we're not done here. So what we would do here, I think it's a really quick one, so. First of all, if we don't have get entry ID set we want a header location in the index.php or you would put something like not found you didn't find it so 
of course if it's not set so it's already the case that we have it else and if we do then we require once our classes dot entry dot php entry entry oh yeah I'm not learning it new and entry and entry get no probably like parse 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 bb codes no that's not the case sql select entry by id this is what we're looking for so now now it's difficult because I called it post and entry sometimes. This is because I was working inconsistently. Now I think entry is a more suitable name. So when you do it, <coughs> you hopefully do it uh, consistently. It doesn't matter if you call it post or entry. You just have to know what it's called. Entry. Apparently it's get entry ID. So what will happen now is that we can replace this stuff. Let's look at the page first. Okay, so this is like a subtitle. I'll get rid of it entirely. And say like echo out my entry get title. And I'll copy this part for here. And here should be important too. Here we don't say get title, but get date. Not this name, but we say get author. Some image here doesn't really matter. This image doesn't matter. We can embed it as HTML code um, into our text just like that. We don't need this particular thing. Uh, the entire thing here we can call it mm, what kind of footer is this? Alright, oh, it's not this one. It's yeah, I have it. This is called footer. Not really, because it's very individual with the comments and likes, but anyways. Call this something like class content and put get content. So we should now find, no we don't, so what's wrong, entry id is set, so this is not the problem, go to the definition, the problem is I'm passing an id here but I'm looking for this, so this doesn't work, alright, let's try again. What we can do is select entry by ID, print, no, not like this, print R. So difficult to spot errors sometimes, so I had ID in line 96. Alright, this looks much better. Apparently, this looks correct. So I can get rid of all my checks here. Alright, so this will be my post. I could have rating or comment number or something like that. 
but that should have then comment as an entity where I count how many comments are dedicated to or belong to this post so it will make sense like having a certain number so I leave that out all right so this is everything I want to do for now I'm gonna upload this to github link is in the description if I gotta if I forget it tell me in the comments so yeah I see you guys next time peace out